Hi it's Charlotte, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I'm going to be reviewing a new brand and I really hope that I don't pronounce this wrong. I think it's called Burudani? Burudani? That's the only way I can see that you could possibly say it right. This brand reached out to me and kindly gifted me these items asking if I would like to review their brand and I've been sent shoes from a brand like this before, a shoe brand where they were 100% sustainable and they were like knitted shoes and I think that brand was called Vivea. I do hear a lot of people talk about this brand however my first experience wasn't that great when it came to the sizing. I found the shoes were a little bit too small so I thought why not try another brand. So they've kindly sent me three pairs of shoes here which I wanted to review for you so if you would like to see that then please carry on watching. I also apologise if this is going to be a really short video, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like this is going to be short and sweet and I also am still in front of the Christmas tree. Just like how beautiful does she look? I wish it was the norm to like keep the tree up but like decorate at different times of the year <laughs> that would be lovely so the first pair i went for i actually got in two different colors which are the ivy pointed toe knit sustainable flats and i really wanted some like more like ballet flat style shoes in my in my wardrobe for every day and i thought these looked really comfy i have actually tried all of these on prior to the video i will try and insert some i don't know insert some pictures or videos I don't know we'll see so it looks like this and as you can see it's really like bendy like I feel like you can already tell from feeling it that it's gonna be really comfy honestly like walking around in these and all of them I don't even know what you call it like face is just so plush like it's just so comfy to walk on I can't tell you. It is kind of like trainer material on the bottom, which I feel like when it comes to ballet flats, you don't always get, like, you sometimes have to sacrifice the comfort for the shoes, like flat shoes. Um, but no, these are really comfy and I just love how basic they are and they will literally go with everything. Love the pointed toe. I didn't feel like it was too small. In fact, I felt like the fit was perfect. So I think I've got all of these in a size six. Yeah, a UK six. And I kind of, I think one of my feet is a six and the other's like a six and a half. So take that what you will. But yeah, I really like these, which is why I also ordered them in cream. I just had a feeling that these were gonna be super wearable um, and I would want to wear them. Oh my God, I've just realized. So these are the cream ones and they have like tiny little gold flecks in, which is kind of cute. I don't think the black ones did. No, they didn't. Yeah, the cream ones have little gold flecks all over, which is kind of cute. I feel like when trying these ones on, it was a little bit weird. I felt like they were a tiny, tiny, tiny bit smaller than the black ones. Not like a massive deal. Um, and I was wearing socks with them both. So maybe if I didn't wear socks, but I do feel like these were a tiny bit smaller. Not unwearable though, but just to bear in mind. And again, same kind of like flexibility. They're just gonna be super comfy for everyday wear especially like barefoot as well. Sometimes the shoes can just be super uncomfy. I also just really like on both of these pairs of shoes, so they are literally all knitted, like all of this bit is knitted and you can really see that it's like woven, um, which I think is really cool. It doesn't cut into your foot at all, like with the, what do you call this bit? The ridge? <laughs> doesn't cut into your foot at all, which is great. And yeah, that's really like, honestly, this is why I feel like this is gonna be a really short but sweet video. I'm gonna have to, I think, insert some clips or pictures later on. The other pair of shoes that I picked were the Coco Knitted Block Heel Almond Toe. So the difference with these ones is mainly like the shape of the toe. Well, it's got a block heel, but it's an almond shape um, opposed to a pointed toe. Oh, sorry, I'm just reading a little bit more information about the shoes. So it says, the top layer of the insole is designed with a fabric layer for comfort and more breathable. Definitely agree, it's very breathable. Unique design fits the foot contour to provide arch support. Within the sole, there is also a latex layer to provide support and reduce foot fatigue. All of the upper bit of the shoe is made from fabric that uses 3D fly weave TM technology and utilizes threads made from recycled plastic bottles. And then it also says the heels um, on the block heel measure 50 millimeters. So I wouldn't say they're like, they're too tall. You're not gonna like stagger about in them, but enough height for a little bit of elegancy. So these are the almond 
ones, which I don't know if you can tell, but they definitely give me like Chanel vibes, like premium vibes. And they think they had a couple of shoes in this kind of style, and they may have even done this in reverse, so like black with a cream toe, possibly. But I just love the design of this. Like I say, very Chanel, very bougie, and comfy at the same time. Um, honestly, I feel like these are just as comfy as the flat ones, possibly. Maybe the flat ones are a tiny, tiny bit comfier. But still, for a block heel, let me tell you, if we aren't gonna be hurting as much as any other heel. So yeah, I really just love the design. I also will say, your toes, I feel like, have a little bit more room in this kind of shaped toe. In this kind of shaped toe, <laughs> in this kind of shaped shoe, um, I felt like I had a little bit more room compared to the pointed toe. I would say, like, the other flat, these flats, I would definitely be able to wear them all day, but these would just be a little bit more comfortable. Yeah, they did a few different styles of this. In fact, there was one with a pointed toe block heel and it was a black and it had like a cream like trim, which I also thought was really cute. I was kind of deciding between these ones and those ones. Yeah, all together, I just think first impressions are really good. Obviously I haven't like worn them around loads yet. And I just think they're a really nice quality shoe. Um, if you are looking for something like this and more of a sustainable shoe brand. But yeah, I will put the links for all three pairs of these shoes in the description box down below. They obviously do other colours as well. I've just gone for my my neutrals because I feel like they just go with every single outfit. Yeah, I do just love the designs of these shoes. I feel like they're very classic shapes and then when you combine that with neutral colours, especially the flats, I feel like they're going to go with everything. I feel like they're going to be like my new work shoe. We'll have to see. I think I probably will end up wearing the flats to work a few days and then I will let you know in the description box how they wore. But yeah, like I said, I will put the links in the description box down below for you. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.